Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve that there's not enough space available on the disk to complete this operation. So specifically, if you're trying to create a partition on your Windows device, so if I open up how to create and format hard disk partitions here, and we let it load for a second, and we try and partition this device, and we're looking to format the partition, and we get the error message that there is not enough space available on the disk to complete this operation. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a workaround for that, and that would be to actually go online and download a third-party utility. Now, we're going to walk through the whole process here, so we're going to go step by step. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It could be anything. I'm going to prefer to use Microsoft Edge because it's simple just to open up. And I'm going to go on Google, and then I'm going to type in mini tool partition wizard and I'm going to hit enter so one of the best matches that comes up should be for partitionwizard.com we want to open that up and then there should be a free version here so this is mini partition wizard free edition At the time of this tutorial it's version 10.1 we want to download it We're going to select free download. For the purpose of this video, the free version is definitely going to satisfy our needs. We're not going to need any paid or professional version, so do not click on that or do not try and pay for it unless you want to for some reason. So I'm going to So it's going to ask you what do you want to do with PW10 free.exe? I'm going to save it. And it will take a couple seconds to download. It looks like it's about 50 megabyte download, so not too big. So once that's done downloading, I'm going to click on Run to run it. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select Yes. And now I'm going to minimize that on my web browser here. So once you're done looking through the end user license agreement, you want to accept the agreement by selecting the first option here. And then click on Next. If you want to set a default destination folder or you want to change it, you can change it here. Then we're going to select Next, add it to the Start menu, create a desktop shortcut. And once we're done, if you choose to uninstall, you're more than welcome to. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. So we want to launch the Mini Tool Partition Wizard and click Finish. Okay, so now that this utility is up, what we're going to do is left click on the Launch Application. So now we have unallocated space. This is the one that we want to format here and create a partition for. So we're going to right click on it and then we're going to left click on create from this new menu that appears. So now you want to enter a partition label. You can name it whatever you want. And then once you've made sure of all that, you want to click on OK here. And then at the top left, you want to make sure you click on this apply button with the check mark. It says apply pending changes. Note, we strongly recommend you close all other applications before you apply the pending changes. Left click on yes. This shouldn't take very long, just be patient here. And we can see that the pending changes have been completed successfully. We can close out of this partitioning wizard at this time. And if we go into this PC, then we can see our new drive has been set up successfully. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.